Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. The box Cox transformation can be used for the following reasons. To achieve linearity of the model. To obtain constant variance of the error term. In other words, deal with the problem of heteroscedasticity. And to make the error term more symmetric, more, we hope, normally distributed. The Box-Cox transformation may be applied to the dependent or response variable only, the covariates only, or to both response and covariates. Finally, we note that the Box-Cox transformation can be applied only to observations bigger than zero. If the observation is not bigger than zero, we can add some number to all the variables to shift them up so that they are all bigger than zero. I'm going to be using the box cox command which finds a transformation for the response variable. Okay, so this example is using the box cox command to find a transformation for the response, the dependent variable. Okay, fit the regression. I'm going to use the tree data here regressing volume of a tree on height and girth. Then I'll get a plot of the standardized residuals plotted over girth. And the idea of doing this is to see do I have any problems with heteroscedasticity? Are there is there any evidence of nonlinearity? So you can judge here, does it look like that they are not following falling in a narrow band? could be hard to tell. Is there any evidence of non-linearity, i.e. any shapes in there? Right, well, for the heteroscedasticity, you know, it's sometimes very hard to judge by plots. I'm not really a fan of judging by plots. Um, does it look like it's kind of changing there somewhere? Okay, so those are the issues we can address with the plots, uh, the residual plot. Let's also look at the normality plot and the Q, normal QQ plot. So I set up a screen first to contain uh, two graphs arranged by uh, two by one table. Get the histogram followed by the QQ plot along the QQ line. Right, does that appear to be normally distributed? These two are both used to, sh to see whether the data of the residuals are normally distributed. It's hard to judge from that, so let's look at the, also look at the skew. For that I need the package moments. And I get the skewness measure. Of the residuals, 0 0.31 bigger than zero. That's evidence that the we have positive skew. I say it's only evidence. It's not definitely we've got positive skew because uh, we haven't test done a formal test that the skew is bigger than zero. All right. Well, now let's apply a box Cox transformation to the volume to see whether the plots of um, the normality and also the for non for um, heteroscedasticity improve. I think we can say, safely say that from the plot of the residuals, there's no linear, non-linearity there. So really, we're only looking at is a possible. Can it help improve any hetero that might have been in that data or in the error term? Sorry, and normality. Load for the box cox is contained in the mass package, so we call that right. And then command for boxcox, boxcox, and it looks like linear model command, lm command, except for we just use boxcox. Hit enter. We hit enter and this is what we see. So the boxcox, the so transformation, power transformation, it has the parameter lambda. By default, searches for values between minus 2 to plus 2 in increments of 0.1. We can adjust that default if we want. No need to in this case be because 
we can see that when it's plotted against the log likelihood, the log likelihood is maximized around this value here, okay, which is less than a half, because it's less than a half. So, but what is that value? Well, well, I'll show you how we can track that value down in a moment. The idea of this lambda is that it's also a parameter in our model, apart from the uh, intercept and the slope parameters. That it's also a parameter, and it's, so the whole thing is estimated by maximum likelihood estimation. That's why we've got this shape here. So the best optimal lambda is the one around here, which maximizes this profile likelihood. Just forget about the word profile likelihood. You know what a likelihood function is. That's the bit we want. Okay, so I want to kind of find what this value of lambda is that maximizes that likelihood. If I press B, look, I get a list. Okay, and it's in two parts. In 